and welcome back. This is Butler Scuba with more Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. I'm joined, as always, by my purple squad of Momo, Jin, Chaos, Ziggy, Junior, Cosmos, and Shion. Alan is still along for the ride today. He will hopefully prove to be useful at some point. I'm going to just avoid you for the time being. And, uh, come on. Yeah, just in time. Finally, the traps are starting to work for me. However, I did get hurt quite a bit and actually had to use EP in that fight. So, let's get that all back and then head forward. I'll support you. One more time, back to the save point then. Should be a clear shot from here. Everybody did get healed off of that, yes? Yes. All right, so the way that we want to go is straight ahead. We do have a long... Mostly barren landscape here, so you know this has got to be something good. Let's head forward. And we warp to the next zone! Oh my. This looks great. It looks, looks like the Zohar might be there, though. That scares me. Oh! A giant open arena looking thing. I wonder what that could mean. What is this place? <sighs> oh, Shion, the Allen Catcher. Are you okay, Chief? Maybe you should rest a little. She's been resting for a while. I haven't had her in the main party for a long time. I'm okay. It's already passed. So nobody, you know, do anything. What is this? A dead end? You sound particularly scared about this, Junior. Junior, look at this. These letters. Yeah, they're the same as the ones we saw in that floating landmass. Can I look at them so maybe I can figure out if I can read them? Momo, can you read it? Or at least figure out what language it is? And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Oh my, we got New Testament coming, and they're not being around the bush anymore. They're just full on saying Jesus. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Is that John? It's either Luke or John. That's the only text I can decipher. The rest isn't in my data. Still want to know what language it's in, though. Is it Greek, Aramaic, Hebrew? Hmm. This material. Is it crystal? It feels like some sort of crystalline structure. You touched it, Jin! Haven't you learned nothing? Don't touch things. This structure has the same composition as Xion's pendant. Xion? Is it crystalline? I detect this compound throughout the planet. It's the same as this pendant? In other words, it's definitely not a normal room. We haven't been in a normal room in ages, Junior. This little room is what Ormus wanted to protect? This isn't a little room either. This is not a dead end. I detect a large energy source from beyond this room. Yeah, no real shocker there. We can keep going. But there's nothing resembling a passage. I don't know. That giant thing at the end looks like it could open up to me. Looks kind of like the end of episode two, actually. It's an aneurysm. Jian, you've been having them th this entire game and it's unnerving. Xion? Someone's calling me. Uh-oh. Hey, Xion, are you okay? You've been looking pretty sick ever since we came to this room. Just now? She's been sick for a while, but yes, especially now. N no And don't go, Xion. Xion. Chief! Shh. 
Xion. Who is that? Why do you appear before me? Tell me, who are you? Xion. Abel? This form is what you have defined me as. If you call this form Abel, then I am Abel. Abel, your voice changed, and in the opposite direction that I'm used to voice changing. You're Udu, aren't you? He's Udu. I am just one of the ways that Udu is perceived. So... Udu is, is God, then? I've heard that phrase used for God quite a bit. Udu wants to know. Uh-oh. So you're just a part? Is there a third part? Know what? About the wills that desire a dissipating world. Are you saying I desire a dissipating world? I actually like an intact world. Everything about you. Everything about this world. That, that's kind of a lot of information. Can you focus it for me a little bit? I don't know any of that. Oh. Xion doesn't know anything. Xion. Are you feeling pain right now? Is pain a method to recognize yourself? Why do you all seek pain? Seek might be a little bit harsh, but there, there's complicated reasons. I don't know. I don't know either. You don't know? I don't know as well. No matter how much you hurt yourselves, no matter how much you hurt others, it won't make you feel better. So why? Xion. Why do you exist in this world? What does your heart try to see in the abyss of despair? Damn it, I thought you were God, Udu. You figured that out for me. Where is the real you? I don't know right now. The real me? I'm right here. Apparently inside, Udu. I don't understand. Where am I? Yeah, <laughs> where... Where are you? I'm right here. Where is this? I want to know. What am I? Who will define me? So Udu is very childlike in this. That's right. I'm alone. Only that song heals me. The song heals you? That's right. He is the only one who heals me. Whoa, wait, what? He? What I want is... If you say Alan... Hey! Back to reality, it seems. Are you alright, Xion? Define alright. I... yeah. I'm okay. Ah! It's another child! Nephilim? Whoa, Jin, what? Xion, what you seek lies ahead. If you wish to go forward, you must open the door by your own hands. Xion has to do this. What? This room was sealed by the will of a woman who was able to call upon the power of God. Do you want me to start throwing guesses out here? She did this to prevent what lies ahead from falling into the hands of mankind. And I'm out of guesses. If her consciousness does not awaken, you cannot reach the truth that lies ahead. So, like a splash of water? How do you awaken that? A woman? Who? Someone you know well. Hmm. Is it Alan? In the distant past, she laughed and cried together with you. She is your other half. Nope, game. Sorry. Can you give me a bigger clue? My other half? Now, 
In order to save this universe, she must awaken. But this will force you to make a painful choice. Her awakening will erode and chisel away your life. Wait. If you were to turn back here, no one would blame you. Uh, a lot of people would blame me, actually. Everyone knows your pain. My pain? No one knows anything about me. I won't let them. No one knows how I feel. I was always alone. Even though I had a brother. Even when I called for help, no one listened. He was right outside. The only one who listened was Kevin. Ah, uh, crap. That's not true, Xi'an. Everyone listened. Everyone wants to protect you. You're saying the same thing everyone else is. Maybe one of these times you'll believe it then, Xi'an. Then why didn't they save me? They stayed away from me, like I was some kind of a disease. It would have been better to have been denounced or condemned. Alan? Thoughts? Xi'an, please don't lose sight of yourself. Don't let his words overcome you. You don't have to worry. I'll open the seal. But it's not for any of you. I don't like you guys anyway. I'm going home. It's for my own sake. And to take responsibility for what's happened to the universe. Seemingly a lot of it is Xion's fault, surprisingly. Chief, wait! Why do you torture yourself like this? Move, Alan. This doesn't concern you. Oh my god, she answered him. Like, in a near cutscene here. In an important part of the game. Yes, it does. I've always loved... Uh, oh, so close. I'm worried about you. Damn it, he backed off. And she pretends like she... You saw what happened. I summoned the Gnosis. Yeah, she pretends like she only heard that second part there. Yeah, you did. Still a little curious how that happened. I caused the destruction of the universe and everything. Well, not necessarily. The Gnosis had a big part of that too. As did everybody that we've killed along the way and still people that we need to kill, seemingly. That doesn't mean you have to take on everything by yourself. I mean, we, we're all... If we put our heads together, we can find another way. Like, how would you recommend we put our heads together, Alan? Mouth to mouth? You're so naive. The situation is already far beyond that. Oh, it's beyond a kiss already. Alan, what power do you have? Oh, snap. Can you save me? Can you save my life? I can break things. I... You don't have any power at all. If you can't do anything, then just shut up. Uh, what did Alan ever do? Chief. Xion, that's going too far. He loves you. What? No, he doesn't. He never flat out told me. <sighs> Chief, do you miss him that badly? Yeah, she never really did get over Kevin. Even with your body broken like that, you still have to see him? Please don't say body broken. I've made up my mind. Leave me alone. Xion, are you sure? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Yes. Oh, uh, apparently yes. This is... This is that floating landmass. No. It must be some kind of planet. I see. Maybe. It's a memory from when this land was alive. 
This must be... Lost Jerusalem. And as it turns out, it actually is Lost Jerusalem. Don't ask me how we got here. We did get a database update. We are far too long, far too far along in the game, I should say, to start uh, not doing this now. We're so close, 98% complete. But we do have a little bit to go over here. We have an update to Abel. Uh, the boy confined. Yeah, we already went over that. Uh, there's the new stuff. Abel is the material, real, form of the higher dimensional existence Udu, which exists without the concept of an individual and is defined exclusively in subjective terms by the observer, whose discarnate imaginary form is the Ark. He acts in the capacity of the control device for Omega, which uses the Zohar as its principal energy source. Yuriev used Abel to wield the power of Omega to use as a weapon against God, who I thought was Udu. So how do you use Udu against Udu? Udu first assumed Abel's form during the time of Lost Jerusalem, at the same time as Nephilim appeared, suggesting some link between the two. So Abel and Nephilim were at Lost Jerusalem. Maybe Uriah just didn't know that uh, Abel was part of Udu. Maybe I'm reading too much into it, though. Pelligree has an update since we dealt with her. Uh, born of the people of Zohar from Mictum like Margulis, she gives her all as an is in as an inquisitor, in order to facilitate a return to the holy motherland of Lost Jerusalem, which we're in now. It appears that she had some form of relationship with Jinazuki in the past, and that both of them continue to carry that with them. Some a little bit stronger than others. Uh, then we do have Margulis. Right, we went through all that. We went through that. Um, we'll start here. Upon becoming Colonel of the Galaxy Federation Special Ops, he received orders from Heinlein in his capacity as a member of Ormus and began secret intelligence activities in earnest. The events that occurred during that time tied Margulis and Jin together with strong bonds of fate. Born a member of Plant Mictum's People of Zohar, he resented the Galaxy Federation for its destruction uh, for yeah its destruction of his homeland and pledged loyalty to Cardinal Heinlein in hopes of fulfilling the People of Zohar's greatest wish, a return to the Holy Motherland of Lost Jerusalem. But it's lost, except in whatever this is. So that now we have a few new locations. We have completed locations now. Archon Spaceport, a port facility constructed in the Archon Zone, the biggest city in Mictum. A large port equipped with a mass driver. It has been used as the planet's main spaceport since the planet's name was changed from Abraxas to Mictum. The Isolated Research Facility, a facility built beneath Archon Cathedral, where research was conducted by the immigrant fleet on the original Zohar and underground ruins. Research was conducted at this facility by not only Ormus, and it goes off screen there. Uh, we're going to say researchers. <laughs> uh, it feels like there should be more there, but uh, they're not they're not letting me see it, unfortunately. Hold on, let me actually look that one up. We'll see if uh, the wiki has a little bit more information on that. 